Hi, it's Silvia. Let's have a look on a short demo on how to use the wordly test you have done for Google Sheets. First things to do is to open a spreadsheet and install uh, the Google add-on. We go here and then we get to get add-on. Once we have done it, we go to WordLift and then we go to configure. So we follow the instruction, we add the WordLift key and also the country, the language and the Google domain and then we click on done. After that, we go into extensions and then we open the add-on. So we can choose here whether to analyze entities comparing web pages and queries or get traffic data from Google Search Console. Let's start from analyze entities. So here we can select up to five queries uh, to analyze. So because we are Italian, we choose to uh, play for fun uh, this analysis where we compare two uh, Italian recipe, uh, carbonara and matriciana, which are two type of pasta sauce. So we select them and then we go to analyze entities. Let's have a look on the result in a new spreadsheet. Here we have a knowledge graph, uh, whether it's a local or linked data. Here we have the entity column, the confidence level. Here we have an hidden column, which shows the entity ID. And then we have the number of occurrences, uh, which is the number, the number of time uh, entities is mentioned in the content. And then we have the search positions. As we can see here, there are a few entities the recipes have in common, for example, pasta, sauce, rome, black pepper. What they do not have in common is eggs, for example, which is an ingredient only present in the carbonara sauce. So with this analysis, basically, we can have an overview of the entities related to the queries we want to analyze. Uh, another way to use the add-on is to compare websites. So URLs, uh, what we have done here is to, we, ch we choose two websites, one is from our uh, client and the other one is from our competitors and we always talk about Carbonara. So we select these two websites and then we go to WordLift and then we go to Analyze. In a new spreadsheet, we can see the results. So there are a few entities uh, which are in common in these two websites, for example, Italian, garlic, Italy, pasta, pork. If we scroll down, we can see few entity only present in our uh, website competitors. For example, black pepper, cheese can be interesting, sauce and also Lazio. So we can decide to select them and to import into our knowledge graph. How we click on extensions, word lift, and then import. We click on go to import. So here I can see the JSONLD code, which I can copy and paste into our website and import my entities. So through this analysis, I can figure it out how to optimize my content by adding mention to those entities I was missing, improving my Google ranking. So let's have a look now how to use the other way uh, through Google Search Console. We go to open, we click on get traffic data, and then we select the website, and then we click on next. So on a new spreadsheet, I have the results. Here I have the queries. I have URLs, clicks, impression, CTRs, position, and opportunity scores that shows me uh, the queries I should target. Uh, this is a mix between queries, CTRs, and impressions. So here I can select up to five query. Then I go to extensions, word list, and analyze. So it goes best to the same path I was before. So these are the results. I can select entities I'm most interested to and I can import into my knowledge graph to the JSON LB code. Thanks for watching. For more information, visit our website.